Hey guys, welcome back to the All In Podcast with Cassandra Xiao and Grace. Grace is my mom. Welcome back to episode two. Today we are talking about, what are we talking about? Purpose. Purpose, yes. So if you didn't catch last time's episode, we talked about excellence versus perfection. Today we're going to be talking about purpose. Purpose with a big P, because that's a question that I feel like a lot of people have. Uh, they don't know what their purpose is. They mm -hmm. don't understand why they need to have a purpose. So let's start off with why is having purpose important? Because nowadays we can see many people spend a lot of time on computers, social media, and looking for a purpose. Mm. So they spend so much time scrolling and scrolling because they do not know what their purpose is. They become aimless. So that's why they're wasting a lot of time um, looking for something, pursue something that, that is uh, not right for them. Yeah. And another one is when you do not have purpose and you will be afraid to step out and do anything that they, 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 they want to do because they're so afraid that they will fail. Hmm. Yeah. So fear is kind of an obstacle to having purpose? Yeah. So because uh, they do not know exactly what they want to do. So sometimes because of that, uh, they will have fear of trying something new or mm. trying something to find out what are they good at. Mm -hmm. So then they, this will cause, like, they will do something aimlessly and then wasting their time. Or live very comfortably, totally within or their comfort in their zone. comfort zone. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. It's interesting. So I started going to therapy. Mm -hmm. And in therapy, you know, we talk about, like, 12-step programs. This is for um, addicts of any kind. What I found interesting was that in the 12-step program, I didn't know this, is that there is a huge emphasis on um, a higher being or for those people who don't believe in God, a higher purpose. Mm -hmm. They say, go back and find your higher purpose, a higher being, something bigger than yourself to live for. And that's what is allows people to actually break the cycle yes, of, that's of right. addiction because they're, they have mm -hmm. a direction. Like, like what you say about higher calling. Mm -hmm. So uh, if I handed you a product and you never see before, so... You wouldn't know its purpose of the product until the creator. If I'm the creator, I tell you, and then you you will know the purpose of the product. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing that um, we are a creation by creator. So without creator, we will not know what is our purpose. The Bible said it is God who directs the life of his creatures. Everyone's life is in his power. And also Colossians 1, 16 say, everything got started in him and find its purpose in him. Mm. So that's why to find your purpose, you have to go back to the creator mm. because he is the one who create you like a chair, right? So the person who create, created the chair is for us to see. Mm -hmm. So same thing with other things that you uh, look around. The uh, inventor tell you what is the purpose of his his invention, product yeah. invention. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. Interesting. So for you, what do you think your purpose is? When I was in my twenties, uh, I remember a pastor came and um, talked to me and asked me what am I going to be in the future. So mm -hmm. I just uh, he said, "What is your ambition? What is your dream?" You know, it just come out from my mouth is uh, I told him that uh, I do not know whether this is a dream or not, but I want to be a mother. Mm. So the pastor was like, wow, this, that, that is a very good purpose. Wow. Because uh, a mother's job, you know, is like so powerful to influence their kids. Mm -hmm. So if you do a good job as a mother, you will bring out a good uh, people in this society and they can uh, contribute back. To this society so i think um, mother is a very um, honorable purpose mm -hmm. to be yeah wow has that changed over the years as you know now you have two adult children mm -hmm. um has that purpose changed or shifted in any way uh i think mother is always mother no matter what <laughs> age you are you 50 you steal my daughter you 60 you steal my daughter so i think um for a mother's job is a uh, uh, it's like uh, your lifetime as a mm, mother. Yeah, mm -hmm. but then, uh, of course, the responsibility or or our our job right now is different. Uh, mm. When the, your kids is different age, then your per your relationship relationship or whatever you emphasize, whatever you uh looking in your kids' life will be different. 
what yeah. what does what would categorize now so right now it's because uh, you know right now you you already come out and you have your career mm. so what i can be is your like a uh, friends and then mm. you give i can give you advice on uh, on your career on your friendship or something like that or you know but when you were young i have to be more um like a mom because yeah. i have to uh, direct the caretaker for you. disciplinarian yeah that's right yeah. there are uh, a lot of uh, responsibility and duties uh, you know different different time you have different kind of responsibility different purposes yeah, different purpose. so the purpose in our even our relationship kind of has changed yeah that's right yeah, yeah. that's pretty neat mm -hmm. okay what is your advice for people who feel purposeless so uh, I think nowadays we can see if we read the news articles, even my friends, uh, they are teenagers in high school. They actually, a lot of them like do not know what to do in their mm -hmm. life. And, and they are like um, aimlessly, uh, no purpose, no tar no dreams. They, they do not know why they want to uh, be in the high school. What are they going to do with their life? Yeah. See, There's, they do not have motivation. But some of the kids, high schooler, they already know what they want. Like you, when you were in high school, you already know what you want to do. Right. Right. But some kids are not ready yet. So what to do is, I think for those who do not know um, what their purpose is, they can, um, right now for high schooler, you know, they just go by step by step. Mm. Right. So, uh, for example, for high schooler, mm. they might want to work hard for the college first, right? right. Because that is what um, what what are you going to do right now at high school? Is to study, to try to study all different kind of subject and see which subjects that uh, really um, make you want to learn more, mm -hmm. and then uh, towards the area. So when you are going in the journey of the college. So you are um, preparing yourself and see which direction you are want to go when in college, which major you want to do. So right now, maybe for high schooler, they should um asking themselves what is uh, their hope, what is their ideas, what is their likes and what is mm -hmm. their dislike and what is their uh, talents or gift, you know. During this uh, college application, you find out what is your desire mm -hmm. and then that might lead to the purpose uh, you find out your purpose in the future. But for now, you just find out what you are able to do. What is your abilities, right? God gives us different kind of abilities. Uh, in the Bible, Peter first say that God has given each of us some special abilities. Then be sure to use them to help each other, passing on to others God's many kind of blessings. Mm -hmm. So, right? So God gives us different kind of talents, different kind of gifts and different kind of abilities. The best way to discover your gift and talents is to experience with different kind of um, area of uh, services, areas of uh, activities. Mm -hmm. And then slowly you find out um, which activities, which area of service that make you kind of, like you feel so satisfied. Mm -hmm. Not by materialistic, but after you do it, you know that what, you feel you find so much joy uh, doing it yeah yeah so right now if you don't know your purpose is the perfect mm -hmm. time to explore things yeah uh, and to goal set in smaller ways to then find your purpose but i also do want to talk about this idea that um purpose is not exactly equivalent to passion it's something a little bit greater than yeah. passion right mm -hmm. so a passion might be something that you're good at and you like doing right that's a very ideal passion mm -hmm. to me i think purpose is the why behind the passion yeah. it's why you are pursuing it why you pour in so many hours into it and this is really key to actually the college essay um, I was thinking about. This is why I tell my students all the time is to help them discover their purpose, their MO, what is their motivation behind mm. what they're doing? Yeah. And also what is their end goal? You know, a lot of students say, okay, for example, I wanna be a doctor, right? And doctors generally wanna help people. Yeah. But I push them to think even deeper, like what is the purpose behind that? What kind of doctor you're gonna be? Not, not meaning like, are you gonna be a cardiologist, but Mm -hmm. Are you going to be the type of doctor that really cares for doctor-patient relationships, for mm -hmm. example, or mm -hmm. a doctor who really cares about rights and equity, fixing the disparity in the healthcare gap? So that's like the motivation behind the passion, which in this case is medicine, but the mm -hmm. why behind it is like a totally bigger thing. Yeah, how about you? 
Yeah, for you, me. Yeah. My purpose. Yes. So my purpose has kind of evolved over the years. I think I discovered it. You know, I discovered my passion first,、mm. which was storytelling. So in my case, the passion is storytelling. I discovered that, you know, in high school, also、mm. when I was writing my college apps,、um, and then my purpose at that time was really to make people feel less alone through my storytelling.、Mm -hmm. I think that's you know still part of my purpose today, but it's also grown bigger than that. I think my purpose. Has a lot to do with youth. So I am a counselor for、uh, our church's high school group, which is one of you know a great honor and privilege to be their counselor. That's something that I discovered after I graduated. But even before I graduated, like I always had a special place in my heart to be like a big sister to the incoming freshmen and sophomores、mm -hmm. and juniors. And then when I was in high school, I was like always leading the activities for. The younger kids,、yeah. the kindergartners,、yeah. and so、mm -hmm. so youth has always been a part of my life. And then I recognized I was good at it, and it really gives me a big sense of purpose. How do I know it's part of my purpose? Well, last year when we went on our retreat, I remember having a moment thinking to myself, you know, watching these kids' lives impacted by. God and the Holy Spirit. I thought to myself, like, if I could just do this for the rest of my life, like, I would be content. I would be very happy. Yeah. So that's how、mm. I knew, like, it was deeply fulfilling. How is purpose different than just getting into a college, getting a job, starting a family? Okay, a job or career is something that you do because you need to survive. Right. Right. Some some people,、uh, their job is their purpose. When they find、mm. the joy of doing it. Yeah, so if you just be. yeah right correct. So if you what if your job is your purpose, that is the very good things happen to you.、Yeah. You know, but most of us they just do job because to they, survive to survive. Yeah, if your job is your purpose, wow, you are very blessed. <laughs> so first of all, uh, we have to differentiate like your purpose. You find satisfaction. That is the most important thing. You feel so satisfied. You feel so joyful. Like what you say just now,、mm -hmm. right? Being a counselor to the youth, that is not your job,、right. but you like to do it, and then you bring joy to it. And being a counselor didn't have a materialized thing、uh, as a compensation,、right. so you just do it and you sacrifice yourself, sacrifice your time.、Mm -hmm. You just have so much joy. It's not easy to mentor those peop no, young people because they have so many. Doubts in、yeah. your life, and then you have to mentor them. You have to counsel them. So that is not an easy, easy job. But for you, you find so much satisfaction and joy in doing this. That is your、uh, purpose.、Yeah. God has given you a calling to mentor the youth ministry. So this is a one way of differentiate between、uh, the job or the purpose. Yeah. Or your passion. Yeah. yeah. Also, purpose. I think when you discovered. The truest version, the truest sense of purpose.、Mm -hmm. It isn't something that is going to bring you a lot of anxiety or、oh, stress,、yeah. right? Right.、Uh, right. Like,、mm -hmm. of course, throughout the process of it, you know, like for example, in this high school group, like there are times、mm -hmm. when I'm I get a little bit stressed, but that's like planning logistical things. Like at the end of the day, when I'm doing what I feel like I'm meant to be doing, it's not a stressful thing. It's like adding joy into、yeah. my life. Yeah, and when you see whatever you do actually impact people, yes, and then you you have so much joy and、mm -hmm. so much satisfaction. Yeah. yeah, I would say for people who are still out there trying to discover their purpose, like this is a process that takes a lot of time and reflection.、Mm. Uh, it it doesn't come to you overnight. You know, a lot of people even past the high school age are still looking for their purpose, which、mm. is totally fine. So. My biggest advice is probably to experiment with different things. Like I wouldn't have ever discovered my purpose lies with the youth if I didn't, you know, volunteer myself to check out the high school group and eventually serve as their counselor. So、mm -hmm. for、um, the teens that I mentor too, I've watched their dreams and their purpose. Grow and develop and change over the years, so it's okay for your for your purpose to grow and adapt to different things in your life. Yeah, you know, I I read about one article about a story about a woman in seventies,、uh, right?、Mm -hmm. 
she only find out uh, her purpose in the year of 70s when wow. she started to run. Oh. Yes. When she run and then she finds so much joy and then her story like impacts so many people around her. So she say to herself, she found a purpose in running. So mm. it brings glory to God and that running actually impact her community. People look up to her. She brings inspiration to the people around her. People were inspired by her. So that's why she keep on running even in the age of 70. Wow. Yeah. So that's what uh, I meant. Like sometimes purpose come to you not when you are young. Sometimes you need so long time, um, take a long time to f- to discover your purpose in life. Yeah. yeah. It's never too late. I mean, that's an incredible example. Yeah. yeah. Right. And then, uh, you know, like we say that uh, should people have different kind of purpose and callings throughout their life? I think so. Yeah. It can change yeah. depending because on different the phase. Kind of phase. That's right. Yeah. So uh, if you continue to learn new things, continue mm-hmm. to discover what is our abilities and then continue to find joy in the things that you really like to do and then, um, you know, you pray about it and see whether this is what God called you to do and mm-hmm. then you will find satisfaction and joy doing it. Yeah. yeah. Wow, it gives such meaning to life. It breaks up the monotony of yeah. life and, you know, the mm. mundaneness of every day. And yeah. uh, it gives you a drive even in those mundane moments. Awesome. Yeah. Anything else to add on purpose? No. Okay. <laughs> cool. Well, thanks so much, guys, for listening to our podcast. Hit subscribe and we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.